Hello, everybody. Ooh, Whoa. What? Do I sound really loud? No, you're just talking before me. Oh, I Which know. Which you're allowed to do. I just, I we've never done that. <laughs> I'm allowed. Say it. Say the intro. See, now I'm nervous. I already forgot it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Antidepressing, where we talk about everything from liturgy to, to Lexapro. You did so good. Honestly, I just jumped in right there. We are so I'm excited. I'm really proud of you. On another episode of Where Are Jasmine and Chanel? Where did we go? Where did we go? Where did we come from? Where did we come from? Where do we go? God. We <laughs> are in Jasmine's parents' beautiful lake home. And uh, yeah, we're just spending a week together. It's going to be so fun. We're swimming. Us. We're laughing. We're making memories. And we're coming to you all because we love you guys. And we're just so happy to be here. So Jasmine, um, <laughs> wait, first off. <laughs> In the past couple of weeks, <laughs> I have turned 30 years old, um, oh my which is gosh. huge um, because I'm 30. I'm wise. Um, I How many feel, times do you think you've already said this in podcast episodes? I just feel like <laughs> I just feel like I'm so much. I'm smart. Ter. Tell me. Actually, can you tell me about the morning you turned 30 Okay, and how it felt? Honestly, it just felt kind of like. It felt like I went to sleep. It's like, you know, in The Lion King where like Simba is walking across the log and he gets older and yeah. that's how I felt. Like, I just feel like I took a pill from being yep, 29 that's the imagery to 30 I was for. Yep. and now I'm just like, I feel better. I feel more secure. I'm like, I just feel beautiful i feel smart she's different now i'm different now you know and so that has been my big like my big i've been very preoccupied with being 30 so that's i know it's you're been huge ask for me, you yeah i know you're gonna ask me how i'm doing so that is how i'm doing how about how are you doing actually i'm not ready to move past the fact that you turned 30 um because <laughs> because as we know you you know you bring it up approximately every <laughs> seven to eight minutes uh, and I'm very happy for you. Thank you. And you're in your non-people pleaser era. I am. That's what you've claimed your 30s will be. I am. And I'm so here for that. Thank you. And I just think the significance of this cannot be skipped. Yeah. We need to spend more time on this. So tell me, like, what are you going to do differently mm. now that you're in your 30s? Now that I'm in my 30s, I just really feel like I... Yeah, I'm just more confident in myself. There like it is. I'm more like it's okay. I'm on a whole trip to Wisconsin. I'm spending time with Jasmine's Ooh. family. I was like, "Mommy, this is what I'm doing." And she was like, "That sounds good." <laughs> <laughs> what time were you going though? Tell me all the flight info. And of course. but I just feel like I'm doing things for myself mm. more confidently. I'm I bought really cute like dresses. My friends oh. getting married in October. Mm -hmm. I just like love the way my body looks. I love the way I sound. Every morning I wake up and I'm like, how, who, who gave you permission, you know, to look this way? <laughs> and so I just feel better. I feel like a better aunt. I feel like a better godmother. I just feel you like a better friend. I just feel more calm, right? Like when I was in my oh, 20s, I was just stressed about what everybody thought and what everybody when was doing. When you were doing. in your 20s, two and a half weeks ago. Speaking of my mom. And, you know, it's hey, just babe. like, I just feel like better about general life, you know? So I love that. Yeah. So I'm feeling good. I love that it was a switch flipped. You were like, you know what didn't happen? Putting in the work. It's just you wake up when you're 30, you're different. You're, you're confident. Different. You're ready. That's what it is. And honestly, when I was in my late 20s, I was working on all these things. You are. Um, and then it. And then it just like, you. like. It just didn't a all click until across you turned 30. A log. Yeah. I just felt very like, this is it. Like, it's amazing. This is the It's like you put change. in all this work your whole life, and it doesn't really matter until you turn 30. So that's for, when you'll be different. So for Jasmine's 30th birthday, I already have big plans. I'm going to be I, so different in April. I haven't consulted with her about any of them, but we're going to do some pretty fun stuff. We're going to so. do everything you want to do. We're going to do everything <laughs> that I want to do because I'm 30. I'm the elder, so I know she exactly knows what, what she I need. wants to do. I, the reality is, as a 29-year-old, like I don't know what I need. Yeah. I'm I don't, anticipating. I don't know. So. I don't know who I am. Yeah. So how are you, Jasmine? Now, now you're like home, you're sleeping. I mean, I feel so inferior i am just 29 and that's so, okay 
it's fine okay. here. But, yeah. you know, when I'm 30, I really feel like I'll be in my element. I've honestly been ready to be 30 for a long time. That's what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm saying, so like, ready. you're roasting me like this. You're roasting me like... I know, like, but you know I say all the time, honestly, like, I can't wait to be 30. But being 30 is fun. Like, yeah, it just feels is fun. Because it, it's like, you're just not as stressed no. right like i honestly feel good who cares yeah like i feel good like i just feel happier right well, and i feel yeah. more confident like it's just anyone good. who's listening to this who's like in their 40s in their 50s is probably like they don't even know yeah like does it like get better era is it better tell us i also love better. that we don't call anything like decades anymore mm. taylor swift has evangelized Eras. everything is an it's era. an era i'm, I'm in, in my 30 year old era, era. <laughs> Right? Like, it's, I'm That's ready. It. I'm ready. I'm just going to get But era cuter. sounds better than decade. It does. I like it. Yeah. Decade comes with like, whew, carries a lot of weight. Yeah. But era is like, ooh, ooh cute. spicy. She's, mm-hmm. ooh, yeah. There it is. Like, <laughs> y'all, I'm going to post on, I'm not, I'm going to ask our social media manager, Jasmine, um, <laughs> that when I go to this wedding in October, I have to show y'all the dress that I got. It's crazy. Yes. Wait, did you decide on one or did you buy two and you're going to decide? I decided on that one that is like form fitting. It is. Gorge. I can't wait. Slamma jamming. Like y'all are going to be like, she was not wrong. It is slamming. And I got some shapewear to put under it because in my thirties, you know what I'm not going to do? Oh. Worry about some lumps and dumps. No, and don't apologize for. I'm shape not gonna wear. apologize. We, I'm honestly we just gonna it. be like, you know, what would make me feel better? Just like a little smooth, a little yeah. smoother. And, and like, like do you I'm, just do you if that's I'm, what makes I'm you feel I'm here for my hip right? dip girlies. Like, you want a hip yeah. dip? You want a you want a little booty bump? You do it, girl. <laughs> but for me, I love just like a little smooth vibe. And this dress, it's it, y'all. Flawless. So can't wait to show y'all just talking to my girlfriends and my guy friends out here so can't Any wait to sh- guy who's can't listening, wait to you're show welcome you. yeah there it is you're learning you're learning pretty little things that's where i got my dress and it was 20 dollars. so Ooh. on sale so yep i might Probably. get jasmine one for her 30th birthday her husband would who absolutely knows? pass away it is crazy what are you so. gonna do yep what are you gonna do yep anyways i've been good, good. i've been vibing at this lake house yeah. um truly living the dream Chanel and I have been chasing toddlers, mm, love swimming, it. love it, chilling. Tomorrow mm-hmm. we're going to a water park, and she keeps saying so it too. You better and look like, out. It's the largest water park in the world. That's what the sign says. Okay, Noah's Ark, Wisconsin Dells. If you haven't been to Wisconsin Dells, then you might not be a Midwesterner. Got it. Because everybody goes. Uh, it's the vibe. Noah's Ark is like iconic. Got I went it. there. One time uh, on like a little church um, event, it was mm-hmm. like all youth group kids oh. and you had to wear one piece swimsuit Fair. vibes. Yeah. Um, and I just remember it being like where all the little Christian kids were trying to flirt with all the other Christian kids. Oh, we so, had something like that in Florida. We all had to wear like mm-hmm. t-shirts though. Oh, t-shirts. But we got to wear all of us suits. took off our t-shirts. Like we got to wear bathing suits. We had to wear t-shirts over it. All of us took them off. Like, what's in your gutter? Crazy kids. Yeah. Yeah. They're wild. Yeah. But I'm excited. I'm excited to show you. It's very fun. We're going to maybe go to dinner in the Dells tomorrow. And then very exciting. If we end up not doing this, this episode will come out in two days. Mm. Tomorrow is a day that will change my and Chanel's lives. For forever. Ever. Forever. I am We should going probably to- tell them what it is. Well, if you're listening to this, follow us on social media. Because we're Anti-depressing gonna- show. Yeah. Uh, because we will be live on instagram maybe not that maybe <laughs> no not you know that. what we should start we should doing for real stories, we should start making little um you know those things on instagram where you like save them as little like yeah, yeah, tabules yeah, yeah. we need we to start make, saving them yes we'll make a story yeah highlight that's what it is highlight we'll make mm-hmm. a story highlight of what we do tomorrow yeah i'll give you a hint it is a band Mm-hmm. that we talked about mm. in one of our former episodes. I feel like it was episode one. I feel like it was episode one. In one of our, when we talked about Christian bands that as young people, Chanel Shaw, a young Chanel Shaw mm. could not believe. Wait, no. Was that No, them? that was another no, no, one. No, but right, I did right. say, she did I say was they a were cool. girl for this band. So let's just, you Here know, if we, if we actually just she roll was a the girl clip back. For Maybe we shouldn't show it though, because I want people to dig. I Actually, want people to follow us on Instagram. That's look true. at it. We will make a highlight 
with the name of this band. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's do that. Highlight with highlight the name, with of, the this name band. of this band. Follow us on social media. And because go- the highlights are, it's going to be crazy. Now yes. we have to go. And go if all anyone wants the way to back Venmo to the beginning. $35 there it is. for our tickets. Yes. We wouldn't be like pressed. Jasmine mm-hmm. Schaubert, my Venmo. You want to drop yours? Also Chanel Dash Shaw. <laughs> also I accept Zell. Zell um, or Venmo. I'm yeah. not really picky with the way I get money. That's true. So, but follow Anyways. us on social media. We'll definitely have a little highlight. Um, and we'll definitely be posting on our social media more We're because social- Jasmine and I are together a lot and yeah. we need to it's just be happen. better Especially about this week. Yeah. This week. Cause we're this week. We're just having fun. We're not even like working. We're, we're just like hanging out. So we're going to take, vibes. we're going to show some fun stuff. So we'll tell anticipate you we it. eat tomorrow too oh, at the water anticipate park. it. You know what we should do? We should do a rating. Cause remember, we're gonna oh, that's do that such a Disney. good idea. We should do a rating of like everything we, we should. Eat. Yeah. Then when we go back and are using our Disney passes, we'll also we'll do a rating. It. Yeah. It's getting crazy. Yeah. This is a very long yeah. intro today. There it is. Well, are you ready to hop right into the stories? I'm so ready. <sighs> okay. Should we dance? Yeah, you do it. Which one? No, you always push. I actually don't know which one it is. Okay. I actually don't know either. Here we go. Big risk. <laughs> I accidentally wheeled out of this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dance She's too gone. Hard. Dance too hard. So for our stories today, two of them are actually relating to the same topic um, because we're gonna priorities. Them? Yeah, because priorities. Yeah. Um, we're going to sandwich. Um, but first, let's talk about The Bachelorette. Um, let's do it. I'm rooting for everybody black. So Facts. obviously I'm into it. Like Charity, good for her, um, is the young lady's name. I have also been rooting for my mental health. And I have not been watching it to as much as I usually do. Yeah. Also because Jasmine's been gone. So usually we, we watch, watch it, it together. together. Watching it by yourself is kind of... It's been depressing, I'll be honest. It's a little like a sad girl. So Jasmine, you've been watching it more than me. Yeah. Kind of tell us a rundown of like what has been happening on okay. The Bachelorette. I am on episode not caught up. Um, okay. I've watched two full episodes. And here's what I will say for so far. Uh, love Charity. Mm. Love her so much. I do think... There's some interesting vibes happening where she's like, there's this one guy. I don't even remember his name. And I'm happy about that because mm. I think he's the worst. Oh, um, earrings. Yeah. Yeah. Earrings. Brayden. Cross earrings. Brayden. Thank mm. you so much. Um, Brayden is giving problematic. Brayden is giving needy boy. Um, Brayden is giving dramatic. He's giving center of attention. And I don't prefer him as a person and i think Um, spoiler alert i think he got sent home this week did he because it was it was coming yeah but let me give you an opinion on him in light of thank god he went home okay um because i'm so proud of charity then because she kept being like i just feel like in some ways he's kind of like repeating old patterns for me but then he would like sweet talk her and then she'd keep him she'd give him a rose and i was like girl you are a marriage and family therapist therapize yourself i was like we have got to but that is like a fact about therapists counselors Mm. it's like we don't always take our own advice Mm. and that's just what she was kind of giving to me i was like girl we need to know our worth we need to go with our gut instinct also when your brother was on the first episode he absolutely said that Brayden was not good and you should send him home and then you were like i'm gonna give him the first impression rose I just had to look up what I was thinking about it. Um, I was thinking that we should call it 2319 on Brayden. Just like in Monsters Inc. 2319. We need to call it 2319 on this man. People come just he exterminate. To yeah, just, just let him go. Just let it go. Um, it's the, I mean, like, personally, I'm not a fan of dangly earrings on. The two on, dangly cross earrings yeah, it's was just, a lot for me, Brayden. Yeah, and like I see dudes rock like one little dangly cross also not into that i don't know it just i don't think i'm into dangly yeah like if you have like a little like a little pierce like a little stud or whatever like Actually, maybe like know. okay like maybe yeah, okay yeah. it's not my but i could do that over like a little dang but then he just kind of was taking it kind of far so if you you're know, a man out there trying choices. to pursue chanel's heart maybe Take just dangly not, earrings not out. a dangly it's a no. you know not a dangly it's a little distracting over a little one stud maybe tops. maybe yeah but i had to call a little necklace Little, ooh, a little neck, maybe a little like gold. a little choke. Yeah. yeah. A little black sweater, a little choke. Oh, you better ooh, stop. A little tight muscle sweater. 
I will not be mad at you. So I got to call a 2319 on Brayden. It, You're he, so right. um, It's time for him to be done. He needs to be done. He needs That's to be it. sent into the, like, Alaska with the abominable snowman. Yeah. into the, So if he got sent home, yeah. cheers. And cheers to any lady who ever tries to date him, because don't. That know part. your worth. Know your worth. That's Love yourself. That's honestly the worst thing about, I'm going to throw up when I say this. Yeah. Bachelor Nation yeah. I, is that these girls who watch the show will be like, mm. I can't believe this guy got sent home. He was so great. And then mm. they'll go try to like find him and date him. Like, yeah. ladies, know your worth. Yeah. That is tragic. And I'm proud to be an American and I just whip out my flag and it's and it's like ABC, like it's Bachelor Nation. Like <laughs> that I am patriotic when it comes to Bachelor Nation. And but also not like not really true. because they're also like very problematic. That but is like not true. You're not into that. I am not. Um, but it's just like, yeah, it's the show has quickly become one of those things where I enjoy it. Like I think we were just talking with our friend about this yeah. like literally ten minutes ago. But like watching it with other people is it. That's the vibe. Because that makes it just like fun. Because you can mm-hmm. sit there and be like, please please don't like you know don't kiss and then start being like so i need to tell you something like i am a virgin like it's like yeah like watching that with somebody else is like oh okay cool like yeah this is so insane you're like yeah watching it by yourself it's just you start like spiraling into like a pit of sad you know and honestly it's the every season one person it was Brayden this time, but yeah. it'll be another person. Don't yep. worry. It's not over being like, I just can't believe she's dating 20 other guys. And I'm like, baby boy, are we watching the same show? What show did you sign up for? Exactly. And it and reminds me, you season. know, that Taylor Swift song that's like, I think I've seen this film before. I'm and like, I didn't like the ending. I'm like, dude. Yeah. How do you not know? Yeah. Like, don't we all know? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Yeah. Speaking of The Bachelorette, though, um, did you watch this episode of The Kardashians where Kim Kardashian punked her family? Okay, yes. When she said she was going to be on The Bachelorette. <laughs> on The Bachelorette. Yes, yes, yes. And I, so I legit was unwell. I was as well because I literally thought it was serious and then Me I Googled too. it and it was not in the news. So I was yeah. like, oh, okay. But I am quite literally a... And like... Let's, this is hard for you. This is like hard to say. Because the internet is forever, right? Digital footprint. So I'm going to be specific. Years ago, not now, pre Kanye West, Mm. back in like Paris Hilton, Mm -hmm, Kim mm -hmm. Kardashian time when it was like super trendy to like the Kardashians when their show was more like stupid. Yep. More stupid than it is. I was a Kardashian apologist. I was like, they are such a fun family. Love watching them. (laughs) whatever so fun (laughs) so fun (laughs) and now i watch their show and i'm like you guys i forget who i was talking to the other day where i was like it's just kind of it's so annoying how they'd be like i just wish people would leave us alone i just wish that nobody would bother us and i'm like yeah i'm like come (laughs) on you guys like yeah and that mixed with like the fact that they are just but it's just there's a lot happening there's a lot but it's like and it's sad because do i want to give them my streams no. But then when I get on Hulu, I'm like, my finger just slips. And I'm like watching <laughs> like, the Kardashians. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> like, oh like no. Like those videos and then you're like, guess I'm watching them. Yeah, I guess I'm watching the Kardashians. Brain. Exactly. But I do, Chanel and I have been big, now that we, you know, are just in this mix of having opinions on pop culture because yeah. of this podcast, we've kind of like divided up things we need to be aware of. And we accidentally both assigned ourselves to watching the Kardashians when yep. you know it and for me it's honestly like I've journeyed with this family for so long mm. and I didn't really watch it a ton when I was younger but just mm. like you know would kind of here and there and now I'm like I honestly am just here to watch Khloe Kardashian comment on her family's life that's like the main thing that I find entertaining about the show that part and then I'm just like I just gotta keep it up I gotta know what's happening over here why yeah. I don't know it's the Kardashian curse. It's the Kardashian curse. They're like, you know They're what we're going to do? They're coming for you. They're coming for you. They're coming for all of us. They're coming for all of us. 2319 our hearts. Because <laughs> we can't take it. It's too much. Like the Kardashian yes. curse. So, But for those of you who didn't watch, <sighs> uh, respect. Oh, yeah. And Kim Kardashian told her family that the head of Disney had called her and asked her to be 
The Bachelorette this season and that she said yes and she had him in on it and so like her mom called him and was like what is happening and he's like we just think it'd be a really good opportunity for her whatever whatever and like acted like it was real and then she finally was like no I'm not gonna be the Bachelorette but everybody was like like Chloe was like Kimberly like do you have no standards for yourself and I was dying because they admitted on the show they all watched The Bachelorette but I was like, that's how you know. Because they're all like, we watched The Bachelorette, but we would never be on that show. There it and is. I was like, wow. Yeah. They've done a lot of things that they're probably not proud of. But yeah. they won't be The Bachelorette. Yeah, they will not that's do that. That's how you know. So yeah, so that's your Kardashian recap, your Bachelorette recap. Don't worry, we we'll be capped. here for our new Bachelor spinoff, which we'll share with you guys at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll be here recapping that as well. But... While we talk about our next story, I'm going to look up some shows um, that, you know, will just bring us into our next one, which is SAG and is it SAG and AFRA? Is that what it's called? Oh, SAG and WGA there it is. are on strike. So the Writers Guild and the Screen Actors Guild yeah. are both on strike um, because they are not getting paid enough mm-hmm. and because of the use of AI. And um, them not having rights to their own likeness and Mm. property, right? Which is kind of crazy. Um, And so the idea that AI could replicate something that they're doing and just use it in perpetuity, is that what it's called? Just like forever. Yeah, to um, write all the scripts. Yeah, forever. And um, just use like their likeness, their jokes, their everything forever. And so they're both going on strike, which is the first time in like 60 years that both of them have gone on strike. And um, and it's just crazy because I think about like how, you know, Catholics like sometimes we're not great with like explaining things yeah. and having like a good vibe in that way. Facts. Pedo. Dignity and rights of workers, though, we got that. We're like, hey, we need to pay people what they deserve. Mm -hmm. We need to treat people in a way that, like, upholds their dignity. And I'm proud of these people for striking because sometimes you just got to stop the work. And you got to be like, hey, you either got to tell me what's up, give me some more coin, or Or I'm out of here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the same note, some of the shows that we love probably will not come back. Because Sad. the last time that there was a strike, I think we were like teens. And I'm going to look up what shows did not come back or what shows just came back and got horrible. Because you realize there are a lot of shows that have writers mm-hmm. that need good writers. And when you just hire anybody, when you hire scabs, which I'm learning scabs are people that cross over the picket line. Mm. So they're people that don't stand with the unions. Um, and they just like take jobs then your content's not going to be great so i'm going to look up some of those shows but what do you think about this strike jasmine you look it up while we do it i think it's really interesting um when i was a theology teacher i taught catholic social teachings and this is one that was always like i don't want to say controversial but one that the teens that i was teaching had never really heard about or thought was something that the catholic church talked so openly about Um, And we talked about, you know, like minimum wage and what is appropriate to be paid for you to uphold your dignity by having like decency in life. And when you think about like where these actors and writers are living, like a lot of them are living in L.A. or L.A. adjacent and it's crazy expensive to live there. And so the amount they need to live looks so different. So I've heard a lot of people even like catholic christian people push back and be like the amount they're asking for is ridiculous but like we don't know what it looks like necessarily to live there um so i think that's interesting to be noted um but i do think you know at the end of the day people deserve to be respected and their work to be respected and the idea that we are you know they're trying to kind of remove the human aspect from writing and from creating art is fundamentally like very sad and a like stripping of the dignity of these writers Mm. to be like, Hey, you know what, what you can do, we can honestly have a robot do. And Mm. I know that in a lot of ways, it's like, you know, in factories, there's a lot of machinery doing work that they do. But when you take like an art, like writing a script and say like a 
robot, a computer generation can do that just as well as you can. You're taking so much of like the humanity from art and from creation, uh, which is just sad. I think that's like a huge loss and will be a huge loss to like creativity. And that will begin to like show through. Uh, and that will become obvious like quick, I feel like, you know, that part. Yeah. And and it's like insane to say that, oh, um, we can just use an AI feature to do like to have as long as so say like like I'm hilarious facts. and facts, period. Okay. End of discussion and a sentence. And so <laughs> say that like someone just says we can use AI so we need Chanel like for a couple jokes, right? And some time. But then after a while, we'll just kind of use this program to kind of learn about what she does. And then we'll just use that and manipulate that for further programming. So we don't need Chanel. We just kind of need rights to what she does forever. Which is, so Which is crazy. crazy. Which is nuts. Crazy. And so like, God bless them. At this point, when this episode airs, they will probably still be on strike. Probably. And so God bless them. And the head of the um, of uh, the Screen Actors Guild is none other than Fran Drescher, who was the nanny, um, who was which was one of my favorite shows mm -hmm. when I was younger. And so just God bless them. Hope they get their money. Hope they yep. get those residuals, which is also a big thing that they're on strike for, mm. because streaming services, um, no matter how many streaming services pick up shows actors and writers especially writers are not getting the residuals that they deserve from Wild. those streaming numbers which is crazy because we can watch like the office every single day over mm -hmm. and over and over again and people will see residuals for like five cents every month which is nuts because it's so insane it's yeah. like i mean it's the same thing that like song writers go through um like writers and yeah especially i mean especially people who like someone writes the song and then someone else is the one who like actually sings on it, records the track. It's like, it's insane how much no money. And people will always like tell my husband like, Oh, we listen to your song. Like, so you're going to get paid. And he's like, it's like 0. 0.006. I think hmm. is Spotify's number of cents. You get back on a song yeah. and it's insane. Like it's insane how much something needs to be streamed for anyone to get paid, uh, which is crazy. Yep. Wow. And so, yeah. So you guys, like, let's just go over some of the things that have been paused because of this actors and writers strike. Ugh, I'm not okay. Okay. Here we I'm go. not ready. Here we go. Beetlejuice 2, which I loved the first Beetlejuice. You so do I'm, love the I first am Beetlejuice. sad for that. Um, creep. Here we go. Lilo and Stitch live action. Honestly, sad. didn't even know that was It was happening. set to wrap in August. Wow. So that's very sad. Venom 3. Whoa. Which is so sad. People are going to riot. The first and second one were good. Didn't they the already release a weird. trailer about that? Or no? Yeah, I think well. so. The second one was not, was kind of weird. But the first one was really good. So oh, rest in sad. peace. It is constantly updating. Um, here's some other ones. Jasmine, while I'm looking these up, what are some <laughs> shows that you're going to miss? Slash. If they stop? Yeah. Like, what are some shows that you're going to miss? Well, I'm currently watching the summer I turn pretty, and oh, if that yeah. ended, yep, they had to stop filming. Okay. They had to stop. Wow. Well, the whole season, this one's getting released, so thank God. Yeah. Um, thank God. But yeah, there's like, um, that's honestly, I mean, besides for like reality TV, what do that's I watch? It. Honestly, this is why I don't let myself get hurt by new shows. There it is. I watch New Girl. I watch The Office. <laughs> I, I know. watch Parks and Rec. And they won't hurt me because they're done. Here so. are a few things that I'm going to never come back from. Tell me. Abbott Elementary had to stop. <gasps> no, so you sad. Love I love that, that show. show. Okay. Um, sad. Stranger Things is not going to come back for another like three years. That's going to be hard for Which you. At that point, fine. I probably just will be dead. Okay. Saturday at Night 33, Live. At 33, are you going to be like, I'm trying to watch Stranger I'm gonna, Things? No, nah, that was, that's not a funny joke. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday Night Live. I don't think Saturday Night Live. That is kind of like sad though in terms of Saturday Night Live does so many like social commentary on things that are currently happening. That's true. It's sad to not have like that archive that is of true. things. That for this That's a next loss. couple months, like Especially over a year. for people who are like committed to that. Yeah. And for like comedians who kind of like get their start on that. That's, yeah. That's that is true. Rough. 
Um, all late night talk shows will be done. All of them? Yeah, because they need writers. I like, mean, respect. Yeah, like they're done. Wow. They are all done. Um, we are living in a simulation. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't watch any of those shows. That's I don't watch any of those shows. <laughs> I don't watch any of those shows. So you guys, like, it just seems... I guess seems, we're just present in the moment. It seems like I'm just really present. These are all pretty little liars. Um, that the show spin-off, is still... The oh, spin-off. The spin-off. Okay. Um, I was like, I thought that show wrapped up. Let's see. Well... I think that's it. And then, guys, like, a bunch of other ones that, like, I have never watched, so... Well, send yeah. us a message. What show what shows will you at miss? the end of uh, on Spotify? We're gonna have a little question. We always do in case you don't listen on there, mm. um, where you can write in a question. Our question this week is: What show are you going to miss as a result of this writer strike? What are you gonna miss? What are you gonna miss? For me, yeah. it's gonna be Abbott Elementary and Stranger Things. That's I so true. But I mean, I feel like I'm. Just, what am I gonna be seventy by the time that the last season of Stranger Things comes out? Probably. <sighs> If they release 40 seasons. You don't. It, that's like an, an episode for another day. But if we flash back to one of our first episodes, mm -hmm. I asked Jasmine about watching Stranger Things and she still has not watched it because of the whole uh, child lo missing thing. OK. <laughs> so. All right. Well, we are praying for the writers <laughs> and actors. Hope you get their money. Hope you get, get that what you cash. deserve. Go on strike. Do your thing. Go on strike, baby. And you know what's really funny? You have an aunt strike. I do. And every time you say on strike, yeah. I think go you say on strike. go on strike. Go on strike. You go on strike. You, go on you get strike. it, girl. And she's probably like, you get girl, that money. Please. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> but go on strike, y'all. Get that cash. I hope that you can negotiate that money mm -hmm. and honestly and for all the people out there for all of the ceos that are like we'll just kind of wait it out until these people lose their apartments I bet or lose their cars yeah i bet they are and honestly you know give it up you know what's up <laughs> you know where you can take a little trip because <laughs> that's not cool and it's not okay people big shout out also eat. goes to bob Iggs. bob Iger. Ooh. rude rude man you know you need to pay your people it's We're crazy cut this out for juliana She's it's crazy splice it it's crazy so anyway get your money y'all love yourselves proud of you guys do what you gotta do <sighs> rest in peace stranger things hope it doesn't lose its fan base and uh we'll see it in three years i guess so that's yeah. tough so you ready to roll into this last story? I'm so ready. Last story as we're sandwiching y'all last story is about the golden bachelor um <laughs> It's just the name for me. Yeah. Truly. It's a bachelor spinoff and it's mm. going to have a 71 year old man and his name Amazing. is Gary Turner. Of course. His name is Gary, right? That's just so like, yeah, that's iconic. It's so golden bachelor name. It's like so golden, golden girls. Like what's golden name? Gary. Uh, that needs gold, to be his name. Golden Gary. Golden Gary. Trademarked. <laughs> so, you know, so it's you're going like, to have to pay us bachelor nation residuals so <laughs> it's like you know 71 year old he says i'm gary i'm seven according to e online i'm gary i'm 71 years young oh i'm from indiana and i'm going to be of the first golden bachelor because it's never too late to fall in love again oh. he said he has um his high school sweetheart tony he had two daughters angie and jenny and two mm. granddaughters, Charlie and Peyton. He was married to his wife for 43 years until Tony passed in 2017. He lives oh. in a lake, on a lake in Indiana. All right. And when he's not Ladies. filming TV shows, he is enjoying getting outside on a four-wheeler, hosting barbecues, and playing pickleball. He said he's letting reality sink in when it comes to setting an example for dating in 170s. Gary is up for the challenge. And honestly, I'm not okay. They pulled me in. I'm not okay. That they got me. spiel got me. Yeah. At first we were like, mm, yeah. that got me. Yeah. I'm like, I mean, 43 years of marriage. Like, he just kind of wants to get out here again. Okay. Here are my top hopes. Top concern. Okay. That's honestly, top, I think we're going to say the same thing. Hopes, top concern. Okay. Say it on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. It's going to be young people. It's going to be young people <laughs> and they're not going to take it seriously. No old people. <laughs> and then I was like, we're saying, yeah. Um, we are so scared. That it's going to be like 20 and 30 year old women 
and this sweet guy, seemingly sweet. Yeah. Gary might be a uh, not nice he man. He might be a little crazy. So if this doesn't age well, just know I do not know this man. I don't know Gary. But seemingly, Gary is just a cute old man that lives on a lake, married for 43 years, and six years since his wife passed. And he just wants to find love. And that's cute. And I hope he doesn't find love with like a bunch of 20 year old women they just put in the house. Like I'm really hoping it's, it's serious. Like an array of women, mainly that are his age and that he can really find somebody that he can have companionship with. And it's not to say you can't find love with someone that isn't your age. That's not, don't come for me. Okay. Like there is a range, but I'm saying if he is 71 and he's marrying like a 25 year old, that's a little aggressive. Right. Mm. And mainly my other concern which I think they're going to do for the drama of it. Uh, I think they're going to have like a lady from each decade. Uh, I think they'll go heavy yeah. on like the 60s-ish. Mm. And then they'll have like a 20-year-old, a 30-year-old, a 40-year-old, a 50-year-old. Like I think they might And they're going to be like, it. I'm an they old soul. I'm just an old soul. Yeah, someone who's like, like, I just matured really fast for being 23. Like that, you know? So, but yeah. But I hope it's just a slew of like Susans and Angie, like just old women. Yeah. So, That's what I'm hoping so for. yeah, so we'll see you guys. And honestly, I don't know. Like, I think that we should play the trailer. I think that we should play the trailer. I don't for... think we're allowed to. I think we can. Can we play a trailer? Yeah. If we're allowed to play the trailer, you'll see. We're going to play it now. He posts his thirst traps in a leather bound album. His DMs have postage. He gets the early bird special any time he wants. If you call him, he'll answer the phone. He doesn't have gray hair. He has wisdom highlights. Florida wants to retire and move to him. He's Gary. And I'm your first golden bachelor. It's your And if we're not, <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to keep on talking. Gap. So, um, so yeah, so good luck to Gary. Um, you know, we wish you the best and we hope that you actually get women that are actually searching for love because you deserve it because you've put you in 43 seemingly. years with the love of your you. life. Seemingly, allegedly. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, we'll pray for you regardless. We yeah. hope that it works out. So is this the season of the bachelor you've been most excited for? Yeah, mm -hmm. because the bachelor is kind of a grind. Like it's hard. The bachelor, you the bachelor get fatigued. I yeah. get fatigued, but something fresh, something new, which is probably why they're doing this. Yeah. I'm just excited to kind of see, you know, what the vibe is. I'm excited That's to so like true. see that. I hope that they have women in their sixties. I hope that Gary so. can like meet th their grandkids. It can be like one of these. Oh, the yeah, the it's hometowns? gonna be cute. It's, it's gonna, gonna be gonna cute. Be so it's gonna be cute. Like, can you imagine Noelle, like your four year old daughter, like, oh. like meeting? Like, that's that's so cute. it's like cute. It's so, cute. so yeah. So fingers crossed for Gary. I do think and, I'm gonna be sad. Yeah. Don't you think it's gonna be sad? It's gonna be a lot of people who are like, "Oh, my husband died," or oh. "My whatever." Like, it's gonna be. Kind You're of actually sad. right. And that is one of my, if you know me, couple things that I don't do well with. But top thing is like sad old people. Yeah. I cannot. I haven't even watched Coco yet because I'm afraid. I don't want to do anything where old people it. are I'll ill yeah. or like going to be mistreated. Like I just can't. I just like can't do it. Yeah. Also, Yesterday. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go, ahead. go. Go. Also, <laughs> there was this show on Netflix. Pay those people. Um, called <laughs> Love on the Spectrum. I think it's still on Netflix. Oh. But it's about people with differing degrees of autism mm -hmm. i believe mm -hmm. that are fall in love and um oh. during some of the episodes they were just talking about like how they were mistreated by previous crushes and et cetera, et cetera. and i just like lost yeah. it. i was watching it with my mom and i just like lost it cried so i can't do things where people are like mistreated or where people have been through things that are like uber traumatic so we'll see if i even make it through like one episode yes that's so. what i was saying yesterday we yeah. were reading some letters that my grandpa had war had wrote he was in fought in the korean war mm. got drafted when he was 18 and we were reading some of the letters he wrote back to back home like to his mom and to his sisters 
and it was so sad and he was with us and he's 93 cutest old man like just mm-hmm. cutest and Chanel was like I'm not okay yeah and I, I just went like, and sat on the okay. couch She's they were like, they were okay. reading them and I, I was can't. like I just, I, can't. I know this I I am not trying to be rude but I was like well I'm gonna go sit on this she was chair. like I know he's okay but this is so, <laughs> this is so sad. sad and she kept being like 18 it's so young <laughs> like he's a child he and he's like writing that. to his parents and he's like hey I'm kind of cold over here and I wish I could go home but and you know I'm like, like the, oh it's it's sad it's sad but so it's very like, sweet very sentimental yeah but anyway chanel can't do that i can't so it's we'll see if her. i make it through episode one but in the meantime <laughs> golden bachelor golden gary we wish you the best go ahead um, golden we gary. hope that you're great i hope you're nice yeah i hope you're nice so we'll see if this ages well we'll see so so don't forget yeah follow us on instagram antidepressing show so you can find out what concert we went to last night and, check our stories uh, check that highlight it's gonna yeah. be crazy and then also uh i feel like that's it answer that question on spotify i yeah. feel like i'm giving homework and tell your to my friends teaching era. tell your friends um, tell your friends smash that like button tell uh, your friends take your you. meds love yourself we're gonna make some s'mores support the union yeah you know yeah we love y'all. So we'll see you guys soon. God bless. We'll the see you guys The world is depressing. Soon, but we are not. We love you, babes. Mwah.